All right, I'm really excited about this one. I have the privilege of cutting with the new Microtech MSI, courtesy of Florida Boy EDC. Go subscribe to his channel as well. I'll put a link to his channel in the description in the comments. Uh, really nice guy to uh, to let me borrow this thing and not only borrow it, but also do a cut test video with it. I'm really excited. Um, you know, this has been um, a very highly uh, anticipated knife. Very hard to get knife as well. It's not like anyone that wants one can just go buy one. Um, this, the drops seem to be, um, you know, kind of few and far in be far between um, as far as the uh, the quantity of, uh, of knives in the drops. Um, so that's why I was really stoked to get one, and I wanted to try it before I bought one. Um, I will say, the the lack of the the uh, the lack of a detent feel on this knife uh, was disappointing. Um, it's really not a, a reverse flicker or even a thumb flicker. Um, to me, this is a slow roller. I cannot get it to reverse flick without a little bit of wrist um, to help it along. Um, so that was kind of disappointing, you know, I know uh, crossbar locks, um, which this is not exactly, but it's similar, um, tend to have weaker detents, um, but this one was particularly weak, pretty much non-existent. <clears throat> but, um, let's see how it cuts, man. Really, really nice factory edge on this thing. I mean, super nice. Uh, the blade steel here is M390MK, which is um, kind of a special... Uh, formula uh, very close to M390 that um, Microtech apparently has just tweaked a little bit to I think that they said it added edge retention and some like chromium so that your edge bevel looks shinier or something like that I don't know I don't know too much about it I just know um, it's supposed to cut a little bit better or it's supposed to keep an edge better than a regular M390 so let's try it out starting with the um, triple thickness cardboard uh, the real thick stuff Going against the grain, um, it's it's tough. It's tough pushing through this stuff. You know, it's tough for any knife, uh, but um, a lot of pressure needed to get through the cuts with this knife. Um, you know, it, it has a thin measurement right behind the edge, but it gets fairly uh, thick pretty quickly. Um, let's try um, let's try some regular thickness cardboard, just single thickness. Um, going with the grain, really easy. easily slicing I'm kind of alternating between choking up on the knife and uh, choking back there's a nice generous uh, forward finger choil on this knife so you can choke up if you like going against the grain pretty easy uh, it didn't have uh, any real issue with this um, single thickness cardboard edge seems to still have some bite to it this knife is a lot bigger than I thought it would be um, when I unboxed it I was surprised uh, it's a big boy edge still really nice uh, I'm noticing some hot spots here uh, you can you saw I was looking at my hand um, pushing through that, that, um, triple thickness cardboard, I definitely noticed a few hot spots. One being the clip, um, where it kind of, um, pokes up there at the very, the very tip of it. Um, and then, for some reason, my pinky on the, the corner of one of the scales, uh, was giving me a hot spot right there. Um, but only when I was really gripping, uh, the knife very tightly to push through the cut. Let's try some utility cuts. This is going to be really good at it. It's a sheep's foot blade, so it's just blazing through the cardboard. When these strips of cardboard like kind of flip out of the way after you're done cutting, that's kind of a sign that it's really cutting well for some reason. I don't know why it does that, but whenever I do utility cuts like this with um, a really good utility cutter, they for some reason they just like flip out like that. It's kind of weird, but really nice clean cuts. This is going to be a really great uh, utility knife. Let's try a little bit of a radius uh, curvy cut. This kind of just tests how fine the tip is. 
Uh, so if, if it's a real fine tip, you'll be able to go through these curves without the cardboard bunching up or anything. And this actually did pretty good. Yeah, no complaints there at all. It seemed like it have a, a it had a thicker tip than um, than some uh, uh, knives of this kind of blade shape, but actually it did really well on this. All right, let's do the glove test. Not that one. That's my new one. There we go. Getting down to the fingies. Here we go. Very nice. Really cutting through well. I think because the material is not passing up past the the uh, the the bevel, you know what I mean. It, the uh, the leather doesn't go up past like the flat part of the blade or up on past the swedge. Um, the material is only kind of in that that primary bevel area, um, which is still pretty thin. I think once material has to pass uh, over the flat and the thickest part of the blade, I think that's when um, it gets kind of hard to push through uh, whatever you're cutting. But something like this, um, really not a problem. Cut it very well. Our edge is still really nice, man. Pretty impressed with that. Um, now we're getting to kind of some of the tougher parts of the testing, the strap and the rope. We'll see how the edge is after that. But so far, I'm impressed. All right, let's cut this really nice wide strap. A lot of knives have trouble going through this, um, just because it's wide. You know, it's wide stuff. It's uh, it's hard for knives to get through. Check it out. Clean cut. Very nice. You know, it partly has to do with uh, the fact that it's a longer blade. You know, it has more time to slice through the strap, but also, you know, sharpness, geometry. There's a lot of factors here. Regardless, it went through really nice and easily. Very, very good. Yep, nice and clean, baby. Hell yeah. Let's do some rope. Usually if a knife cuts the strap well, it's just, it's going to cut the rope well. Um, usually that's the case, but let's try it. Yeah, right through it. I gotta grab some more rope. Not the easiest uh, ever to push through uh, and and uh, and cut the rope, but definitely fairly easily. And uh, you know, a lot of knives take two or three tries to get through one cut or uh, one piece of the rope. So the fact it can do it first try is uh, is very good, really very good. I think I do a total of four cuts on this. Um, and they weren't getting more difficult as I went either. So that's great. Really nice. Good to see. As I was pushing through the rope though, I am still noticing those hot spots I mentioned earlier. Um, specifically the clip and then where my, my pinky finger wraps around the, um, the front part of the knife, there's some jimping down there that's actually a little bit sharp. Um, and there's a sharp corner, um, I'll, I'll show it in better detail when I do the review of the knife, but there, there's a few hot spots. There's definitely a few hot spots. But check out our edge, man. After the rope and the strap, really, really cutting the paper very, very easily still. Um, that's awesome, man. That's really awesome. This is definitely doing better than some M390 I've tested. Obviously, you know, there's varying degrees of quality of M390 as far as uh, who did the, the heat treatment process. Uh, but this is one of the better ones, absolutely. Very clean paper cutting after all the testing. Let's see how it does with the strop. M390 is kind of hard to strop back a lot of times. Uh, I mean, it, it will. It just takes a bit longer uh, than some other steels. Uh, but we'll give it a little bit of a strop and uh, see if we notice a difference when we go to cut the paper. Strop. 
strap, strap, strap. It's a pretty easy knife to strap just because there's a there's slight belly, but um, not much. The fit and finish on this knife seems to be very good. Um, you know, typical Microtech quality. I don't hear any rattling when I shake the knife. Everything seems solid. Um, I like the tabs that you uh, that you pull down to disengage the locking mechanism. Uh, they're nice and grippy. Um, same uh, milling pattern that you see on their OTF switches. All right, let's see where we're at. Oh, baby, yeah. Really nice. I'm able to get a really slow, nice, clean cut. Very nice. That's great to see. Um, so that's awesome, man. You know, while this knife does have a few hot spots, um, I wish it had um, a little bit better flicking action. Um, this M390MK seems to be really nice. Um, I would be very, very happy to carry this blade steel in my pocket. Absolutely. The finish on the blade is really good too. Um, the bevel is stonewashed, the swedge is stonewashed, and then we have a satin belt finish on the flat part. Um, don't notice any scratches at all from the testing. It looks uh, just as good as it did uh, when I first got it in the mail. Um, sharpening choil and plunge grind, very, very nice. Um, ton of life in the blade for sharpening. They did that really well. Um, I like the lack of uh, branding on the blade. Uh, you know, there is a, a little bit, but all it is is just a small Microtech logo and then the, uh, the M390 MK. And then on the, on the clip side, there's nothing. Um, that's kind of a weird for Microtech. Usually they, they blast their branding all over their blades. Um, so that's nice to see. The clip does work well. While it is, uh, creates a little bit of a hot spot, it does work really well. I like the big, beefy hardware all around. So, yeah, overall, there's a lot I like about the knife. Um, this definitely has its uh, flaws. Um, but I'm going to spend more time with it and uh, do a full review here um, down the line in around a week, 10 days or so. And thanks for watching, dudes. Please like the video before you head out. Enjoy your day, and I will see you in the next video. Later.